Hey everybody, uh, today uh, we're doing another uh, limits problem and uh, today uh, we're doing something similar to the problem that we did last time. The only uh, thing that we're, diff that we're doing different this time is that we all, we approaching um, we are approaching the domain from from both sides of I'm sorry, we are approaching the domain from one specific side of the of the function. In other words, one one specific side of the graph that is representing the problem. Maybe this that is more clear. Okay. Um, okay. And we use two different um, identifier for this. I will say identifier because that's how we identify which one are we doing, right? Which method are we following? The first one is the limit of f of x equal l when x is approaching a from the negative side, right? So that's why this a this a with the little sign above um, negative sign that doesn't mean that A is negative. No, it means that I am going from negative to positive and we call it that we call it that the left hand rule. I'm sorry, the left hand limit. I'm sorry. What is the left hand limit? Why is it the left hand limit? Because I am going in that direction. Okay, it's the left hand limit because I'm going on my direct the direction of my left hand. Okay, that's why it's my uh, it's called left hand limit. Okay, the next one is going to be the right hand limit. Well, the right hand limit is um is the limit of f of f of x equal l at x approaches a from the positive side, right? So from the positive side, okay, it's called the right hand limit because I'm going in this direction. I am going from left, I'm sorry, from right to left, okay? And the right hand limit, again, I am going from right to left. On the left hand limit, I am growing, I am going from left to right. Okay? In the left hand limit, I am going from left to right. Okay? And I have a little graph right here. Two, two different graphs. Okay? Notice that this um, function right here is kind of dropping. And this is the arrow of the limit. Okay? And this is the when the when a when x is approaching a okay from the left side I am approaching a certain domain of a which is giving giving me the limit okay at that point okay and at that point at a exactly a probably uh, depending on the function I will have an empty space and in the circle. Why? Because it cannot equal a. x is only approaching a, but not necessarily equal a. Okay? The same thing over here. Okay? I got, okay, notice that over here, um, x is less than a. Okay? Which means 
that is approaches A, but not exactly equals A, okay? Now, <clears throat> over here, if we do this piece right here, okay, um, A is greater than, X is greater than A, right? That means that I'm going from right to left, okay? So, at this point right here, X is greater than A, it makes sense because I'm going from right and I'm approaching, I'm approaching a certain number A, um, but not necessarily equal A, right? So, this is the, this is the, the, one of the definitions that we have, okay? So one of the definitions that we have is that the limit of f of x equal L at x approaches A if and only if the limit of f of x equal the limit, I'm sorry, if and only if the limit of f of x uh, uh, from x, x is approaching a from a negative direction and the limit of f is equal to the limit of f of x when x is approaching a from the positive direction, right? So, if they are, if these two limits are equal, then this limit over here exists. If these limits are not equal, then this limit right here does not exist, okay? So, we're going to do one problem and uh, we will see what is going on if we do one problem. Okay, we're going to do number, we're going to do number 20, 25 on SSI 2.1. Number 25, we're doing number 25 in SSI 2.1, right? So, number 25 says that we are going to find find if the limit exists find if the limit exists right a we have limit X go to A negative direction, right? And then of F of X and then I got a B I'm sorry I got B which is limit of f of x at x go to a x approaches a from the positive side okay and b I'm sorry c I got limit of f of x as x approaches a okay 
So in other words, so in in other words, if this limit exists, a and b have to be equal in order for c to exist, right? So 25, we got the absolute value of x minus 4. Over, over x minus 4. Okay, so we see, we will see how this problem is going to work out. Okay, and uh, Okay, so I'm sorry, I forgot to put something. Okay, they say that A is equal 4. But remember that A is equal 4, but X is approaching A, so X does, does not equal 4. X is, X is going to be close to 4, but not exactly 4, right? It's one of the things we need to consider it in this uh, problem. Okay, um, so I am going to, I'm going to erase this part right here because I have no room. I'm going to erase this part So I, I have a little more room to work out this problem. So the first step, we are going to pick some values for, for A going in the direction of in the direction of close to 4 from the left side, right? From the left side. So now, if I let A, if I let X approaches 4, right? 4 is A, okay, that was given. But x only equal 3.9, right? So 3.9, if I put in this expression right here, okay? Limit, I'm taking the limit of that, right? So if I do that, I'm going to have what? I'm going to have 3.9 minus 4, right? Over, over 3, over 3.9 minus 4, right? So what do I get? 3.9 minus 4 is negative, actually value of negative, sorry about that, actual value of negative 0, let's do it, negative 0 0.01, right? So, now, on the bottom, what do I get? In the bottom, I get negative 0 0.01, right? But remember, on the top, I have the absolute value. When I take the absolute value of the top, I get, ne I get, neg I get positive 0 0.01 over 
negative 0 0.01, which is equal to negative 1, right? Now, let's do that was going, that is the left limit, okay? I am going from, I am going from, from left to right. Let's do now the right limit, right? The right limit, I'm going to get what? I'm going to get, remember the right limit, I am going, I am approaching four from the other side. So I get three point, I'm sorry. Okay, I am replacing, I am going to pick up a number greater than four, right? So if I keep pick, if I pick a number greater than four, what's going to happen? I am going to put a um, point, I want to let x, in this case, right here, x is going to equal 4.01, right? So if I put 4.01 minus 4 point uh, just 4. Okay. Now, look at this. Look at this. What's going to happen? I get 4.01 minus 4, right? So, remember that this one right here is going to be what? It's going to be nothing but point zero one over point zero one which is equal to one right see that because I took the actual value of this the actual value of a positive number is nothing but just a positive number let me write it down to make more clear for you to be more clear okay I got the actual value of 0 0.01 okay on top and the bottom I got point, point, uh, 0.01 right now if I take the actual value of this it's nothing but 0 0.01 right then and at the bottom of here, I got a 0 0.01, right? Which is equal to 1. Okay? Now, these numbers are not the same. This limit, the left-hand limit, does not equal the right-hand limit. Okay? So, therefore, on part C, on part C, I cannot... Um, the, the part C, the limit does not exist. Okay, so this is this is A, this is B, and C limit does does not exist. Okay, so these are the answers, okay, this one right here, this is another one, and this is another one. Okay, so because the limit on part A and B, when I did the, the, the left hand limit and the right hand limit, because they were not equal, then the limit on part C, on part C, because the part C has no sign, right, on the top, so that means that as x approaches a, then 
this limit right here does, does not exist, right? Because because of this uh, theory that we follow, okay? So it's a theorem. I'm sorry, it's a theorem. But anyway, um, this is how you do limits. Um, remember, you're approaching some number. If you're going from the left, if you're going from left to right, you're approaching that number. You're approaching A, but not equal, not X should not equal A, right? If you if you're going from right to left, you approaching A, A from the right going to the left, but X is not does not equal A. Again, it's the same principle that we that we used um, last time. The same the same principle. Um, with the only difference that now we're using this, uh, what is called uh, the left hand limit and the right hand limit. That's all. It's not a, it's not a, 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 a anything you know uh, more complicated. Um, in this case, we had an absolute value, so therefore we have to be careful. We have to take the absolute value of the top, okay, and leave the bottom the same. But um, it's uh, it's nothing complicated in these problems, right? So thank you for watching, and I hope this helped uh, somebody who was taking calculus one.